Bill Tyson, director. <laughs> Plaid tidings. Now, uh, now what? This is the second. This is like their second show. Uh huh. Plaid. Sure. The first show was Forever Plaid, and it's a review that probably came out oh in the mid '90s and was really quite successful. Uh, conceived by a man named Stuart Ross. And it played many different cities and then went into release. And I actually directed one of the first productions of it out of the franchise, Forever Platinum. And I've done it six times, so it's a show that I really love. Then maybe four years ago, I saw this version, Plaid Tidings, in Cleveland when I was working there. And I thought I really wouldn't bring this to the skylight. So the rights just became available about eight months ago. So we got the rights from one of the first companies to get the rights to do it and we're bringing this holiday version of Plaid to the sky. Well, it's a story of a uh, guy from the 50s and 60s. They're very much based on real groups like the Four Aces and the Four Freshmen and the Crew Cuts and the High Lows. It's that four-part harmony blend that was really popular. When these guys met up, it was sort of the end of that time. Things were moving toward Elvis and then eventually toward the Beatles. But that music from the 50s is what these four guys really would spoke to them. Mm -hmm. They met in high school, they were all members of the Audiovisual Club, and that's how they met. So they met and they realized they had this love of four-part harmony together. So they decided to make this group called Forever Plaid, and to work on these songs, their arrangements of these songs, to keep this type of music alive, even though most of their friends in high school were listening to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. So it's about these guys. and what spoke to them and their passion for this music and, and for this style. And it's such a great time in life because before things changed into rock and roll, this was the kind of stuff everyone listened to. Parents and kids and everyone listened to this kind of music. So it's, 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 a, it's a calling back to a really innocent, sincere time that as things progressed and Elvis came along, things changed quite a bit. So it really is harkening back to a very dear time. And, and well, now it's this so it's seasonal. Now this is very specific to this. Season. Definitely seasonal. So the first act of the show is them coming back to Earth again, saying, why don't we come back this time? Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out why they're back. By the middle of the act, they think, oh my gosh, we must be back to do our holiday special that we never got to do. Then the second act of the show is pretty much them doing their holiday show. So the first act has a lot of different numbers of the period. Some of it holiday, much of it not. And the second act is pretty much primarily all holiday music. And is there a lot of Bill Tyson in this show? Do we well, see is, little, some of your... <laughs> there's, you know, I mean, there's a lot of choreography and a lot of little staging that's kind of fun to do. So, and, and I, a lot of the humor speaks to me, and I didn't create it, but it's humor that I, that I kind of find, um, personally, I find enjoyable. So I think it is a, a show that people would think, oh yeah, Bill would like that show. So <laughs> I, do, I do think there is part of that. And, of course, the question we're asking, why do you like working at Skylight? I mean, this, we've, I think we asked you this question last time, so well, I... Well, because it truly is, I probably have the same answer last <laughs> time. I like the Skylight because there really is no other place like it. I just directed a show at Kansas City Opera, and it was a great company. It was a great experience. I directed HMS Pinafore, and I really had a wonderful time, but... Whenever I come back, whenever I go away, it's great to go away, it's great to have that experience, but when I come back, I really appreciate everything we have here. All of the people in the shops, all the department heads, how much they care about the product, how much they care about the skylight, and it's just there really is no other company that performs musicals and operas and works in the way the skylight does. So I feel very fortunate to be here because it is such a unique place and there's nowhere else like it. So if I'm gonna do this kind of work, I wanna do it at the best place available, and that really is the skylight. Home for the holidays. Exactly. Thanks, Bill. You're welcome, Chase. <laughs>